God is called to say, I love you. I just call to say how much I care. I just call to say I love you and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Good morning. Thank you, Brother Stevie, for that beautiful, beautiful, those beautiful lyrics and that beautiful song. Uh, but listen here, family. First, let me say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. Let me welcome you to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. I want to give honor to God and thank him for another day to be fortunate enough to be on this side of the dirt. Um, and um, I hope all of y'all doing well out there. Okay. I know we're going through some stuff right now, but there is light at the end of the tunnel and it's not necessarily a train coming your way. <laughs> not necessarily. But listen here. Um, for all of y'all who have asked me, what is the madness all about? Because y'all know that it comes a time, like I said, it's, um, it seems that if we, especially um, as children of the Most High, we've gotten a little comfortable, a little comfortable, a little bit too comfortable um, and almost forgetting what cards that have been dealt to us throughout history, which is the cards of forever movement. Uh, Exodus. We've continued, continued since the days of Moses to have to um, constantly move because the enemy uh, has uh, taken or taken some sort of pleasure in despising who we are, who we are spiritually, who we are um, mentally, and what we represent. And the sad part about it is uh, a lot of us hate us too and despise ourselves because of how we've been taught. Okay, But the real on the planet know exactly who we are and the real people on the planet know who they are and they keep focused and they have to keep moving and they understand that no matter what no matter how fair no matter how unfair because when you are living in a society that is built on narcissism and we talk about it all the time you guys um this is a narcissistic land. Every institution that runs it is a flying monkey. And you are the scapegoat of this great narcissist. In fact, the Bible rep uh, calls it a great whore harlot. You know, the, the same thing. Uh, the, 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 the great manipulator right actually the amazing thing about knowing that information is you can take stuff like this and when you listen to this article um i want you to see just how crazy and how the privilege of these people have allowed some of them, not all, some of all, to uh, represent themselves as a flying monkey of institutions that continue to perpetuate and project the madness onto you, okay? For instance, most people know that Black Lives Matter is 
only in reference. Now, whether you talk about the Soros and, or whoever and, and, and the politics of the women involved, okay, okay. I'm all in agreement for that, okay? Whatever. But the just the mere words, BLM, Black Lives Matter, have gotten people all up in the roar because it is very, very hard for them to even say the word Black Lives Matter because they don't to them. And their privilege, to be able to have a, such a privilege that you can decide what the heck you want to hear, to me is mind-boggling in itself. And I'm sure if most people of color know what I'm talking about, just to be able to, to say, we don't want to hear that and so we won't deal with it is a privilege all in itself. So this particular New Jersey town, uh, they fired the officer as they should have, and they suspended another over calling the uh, Black Lives Matter protesters terrorists. Now, most of them won't even fix their mouth to call those insurgents that attacked the Capitol on January 6th terrorists. There's no way in the world because they represent them. That's their brother. It might have been their uncle because most of them said the dinner table would talk about us like dogs, right? So this town, just listen to this psychopathic mindset of these people that when the scripture talks about coming out from her, I'm going to tie all this in, okay? I'm going to tie all this in. Just give me a minute, y'all. Give me a minute. Hopewell Township has fired a police officer who described Black Lives Matter protesters as terrorists and will suspend and demote another for replying to a comment on the Facebook post. The fired officer named Sarah Irwin and Sergeant Mandy Gray will be suspended for six months. Our exemplary and decorated officers with absolutely no disciplinary history. Their lawyers, uh, Frank Crivelli said Monday evening. The town's actions against him, he said, are disgraceful and cowardice. Because black lives don't matter. Gray was the first female. First of all, let me commend the township for suspending the officer. Let me go there before I go any further. If nobody says to you that you did the right thing, you did. It may not mean nothing coming from a black person or a, a, a so-called terrorist that's been defined by an officer who in in response to people protesting but in mistreatment. But just listen to the concept, y'all. People have been protesting since your grandmother, your great grandmother was born. And so now you think we all hallucinated? You've seen the movies with the Black Panthers. You've seen the movies with Fred Hampton and why that was all this stuff. And you still continue to want to say that Black people are hallucinating and that you have been terrorists to us since we got here. And your privilege is so messed up that you can't, your mind can't wrap yourself around that. This great chick was the first uh, female officer hired in Hopewell Township and was the first sergeant promoted in 2019, a rank she will lose in the demotion. Crivelli said the discipline result was dumbfounding as neither the officer has any prior internal affair complaints. Uh, I'm turning. I'm sorry, internal affair complaints. Both are public service with 20 or more years of service. The appeals are already underway in Superior Court for both, he said, and the action will argue a number of things. First, 
in, including uh, amendment issues, First Amendment issues. The town took the action Friday, even through its council, which voted unanimously to accept the recommendation of a hearing officer. Brian Felice. Councilwoman Julie Blake, who serves as mayor, declined to discuss the matter, citing personal confidentiality. Sarah Irvin made the post in a question in June of 2020. It said, <clears throat> Last night as I left work, I had my two kids crying for me not to go to work. I don't think I ever felt that way I did last night. And then I watched people I know and others I care about going into harm's way. I love my police family like my own. So when you share posts and things on Facebook, I'd really appreciate it if you think before doing so. Why don't you take your own advice? Just to let you know, I've seen so many Black Lives Matter sick hashtags in these posts. Just to let you know, they are terrorists. They hate me. They hate my uniform. They don't care if I die. Initially, Irwin and several employees who reacted to the post were investigated and placed on leave. Shortly after it was made, then the police chief, Lance Maloney, apologized to the community for the post. The Mercer County Prosecutor's Officers, I mean, Office investigated, found no criminal behavior, and it was sent back to the township for department handling. And that's what the uh, prosecutor's office spokesperson said. Now, the Facebook post and a semi-related lawsuit by another veteran officer who claimed discrimination in the department led to a petition and protest in town that call for a change in the department. Now, let me just say this um, to all you and to Sandra Hopewell and about your two kids um, who begged you not to go to work. Your kids are no more special than mine or my grandbabies that beg their uncles or their father or their uncles not to go to the store because one of your fellow racist officers might shoot him in the back like they did Walter Scott or like they did Jeff Blake over in Kenosha or like they did Philando Castile with his baby in the car gunned him down what makes you think that your life is more important than ours? It's not. It's not. The FBI's own notes, own website, talks to if the of the influx of Klan members, Ku Klux Klan and other racial hate groups infiltrating the FBI and other law enforcement agencies and military. And you got the nerve. You got the nerve. I'm not going to call you a name, but in my hood, what they would say to you, it rhymes with which. For you to call them terrorists. With your privilege won't let you see that what we're doing is merely a response to the hatred, to the injustice, to the shooting in the back that has been going on since 16, 
19. And now you devils are trying to erase that history as if it never happened. You are the most psychotic group of people that anybody has had to live with. And nobody gets a chance to evaluate you. You are a Neanderthal. Your privilege has got you so blinded by the truth that you can never be an objective member of the human family. Never. Ever. Well, I hope you don't get your job back. And I hope you don't go down the road because you're so mad and somebody else pick you up because that's probably what will happen. Until there's some kind of federal mandate in place that stop people like you. That KC passed their own privilege. Until we can get rid of people like you, ain't gonna be no peace. It hasn't been any. Take it all the way back to the Civil War. That's where there is no justice. You ain't gonna find no peace. How hard is that for you to recognize? How? Insane. Insane. I'm praying to God this thing got some sound because if it don't, It's going to be a sad day. But I want y'all to think about that. They're mad at us because we're getting tired of being abused. What kind of craziness is that? We're tired of the abuse. And now they're trying to let you wear and me wear the moniker of a terrorist, but not them who are perpetuating all the injustice against us. Watch this. <laughs> 